Hi, I'm Jonathan Haval. And I'm Lucy Blakemore, and we're both presenting at the English Australia Conference this year in Brisbane about the invisible thread of technology. So, John, do you want to kick off by just saying why we're investigating it? Sure. Um, nowadays, technology plays a fundamental part in the lives of our students. So if we consider that the context for real-life English language learning are set within these students' lives, then gaining a greater understanding of the part that technology plays in this process is vitally important. And not only that, but technology is ever-evolving and the students' use of it is ever-changing, um, which means that we in the English language learning industry are all forced to change with it. Um, through a greater understanding of how our students engage and interact with technology, we can begin to make better and more informed decisions on how to provide this ongoing support for our students, both in the classroom and in the wider school environment. Yep. So in terms of what you might expect to take away from the talk, um, it's ideas about different ways to approach research. So we're trying to go beyond the, 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 the traditional online survey, something that's not been well thought out, to something that's a mix of, say, face-to-face -face and technology-enabled techniques. So um, simple things that we already use in our classroom, like audio and video, bringing those into the research process to make sure that we capture the voices and the personalities of the people involved in our research. Um, things you might not have thought of, like using WhatsApp to capture in the moment feedback from students about what they're doing with technology. Um, brilliant for not relying on students' memory when they're telling you about their lives and behaviours. Um, so it'll be a real fast-paced tour of the kind of things that we've found out, um, but also leave you with some practical ideas about how you can do things in your own classrooms and in your own schools, um, just to really get more under the skin of students and how they're using technology and what that means for us in our industry. So see you in Brisbane. See you in Brisbane.